Yeah. All right. So we just pause for intermission. At the uh, third red flag, you're talking about feature prices. Charge it for feature prices. Whack feature prices. Uh, so what are your three green flags? Well, like I said, like it's always great to um, be versatile with certain people that never did certain styles. Like if someone were to do like rage or like plug and beat, it would be like really cool to have them like to like to teach them or something like. It, I'm just saying, for example, because I'm like I said, I'm versatile with all type of different um, genres, so. I like to I like to teach everybody with that. So that's one. Um, two, depending on the person, I'll say like the vibe and the connection because I like to have, you know, rapper friends like music people that's a rock like all of involved in music and stuff. So that'd be pretty cool to have have that in my uh, circle. So that's most of my circle to have like musicians as friends. Plus for my third, that's kind of tough to say a lot. Um, it kind of, in the, it's probably in the same region in there too because friendship where everybody is like around the world. Like I be meeting people from online that's like from North Carolina, like Virginia, New York, Atlanta. Ukraine, Poland. That was funny in Poland. That was a really funny dude. Um, let me see. I met people in Michigan. I met like this crazy. Like I don't even have to like be there visually, but it's just like having them to connect with me or connecting with them, vice versa. And like they're just across the world. And they seem like they're your friend from like down the street. It seems like in a way. But having to have that connection, it, um, it also benefits both of them, both of us, like me and this one guy. And they're from New York and I'm from here. It kind of creates, it kind of clashes two different um, band bases together from two different times. So it's like, it's really cool to see. And like in Juice World, because Juice World created so much of an impact where because he, he was from Chicago. People there's a lot of people he worked with from Chicago. He didn't have a chance to work with other people from Chicago too. So it's like having that way, but then he worked with the likes of Trippy Red, who was from Ohio, worked with the likes of uh Ski Master Slumpy, who was from Florida. So you get all these different fan bases coming together and having that one fan base that was collided with them or by himself because because everybody has their own way of growing up as an artist and having their own type of style. Playboy Cardi has the the black um vampire aesthetic and it's matched with whatever style with whatever whoever they um collide with. So it's like they all come together. So I like that. That's one of my biggest things. That's that's fun. That's really fun. Yeah. No, I like that. You kind of mentioned some pretty big uh artists. What who are some of like your favorite like current rap artists that you kind of model yourself after? Well, well, model myself after as like inspiration wise. Yeah, like inspiration wise. Current, I would say um Chippy Red and so I've been really tapped in with Sofego for a long time. I'll say since uh, 2020, like almost right before. Let me see, what song was it? It was um, Gear Two. Gear Two was my first Sofego song I ever heard. I saw the music video. I was like, who is this man? And I seen this man growing up. I, I remember when he was at like 72k followers, and he started going. Crazy with the off the map. He was like, who is this man? So, and I, I just always tapped in since then. So, like having his style with my style, I feel like we can kind of play with the same. Like, 
I've had songs with Sofago, but it wasn't like the official. So like if I actually meet him one day and create a song that way, I feel like it's much more special. Because his vocal range is what like inspires me the most. Like given the fact that he's already cool, he already has a coolness to himself, but his vocal range is like high. And I never got that high. Like I wouldn't say I never got that high. But my voice is deeper than his. So it's like it's like a goal to get that high consistently within a vocal range. And it's like it's hard for some people. I mean I can do it, I could because I'm a I'm considered like a high I forgot what um I should turn up. I probably on the spot on it. But um I could sing higher than I than I could talk. You can hear me talk, but I'm I'm not sure what songs have you heard from me, but I, I'm a pretty high I'm a pretty high singer when it comes to ad libs or certain phrases I say. It's like I can sing high, but he's he's consistently high, and that's like whoa because he's he's inspired by Chris Brown, um, Lil Key, Young Thug, so he's all like he's like inspired from people from Atlanta, while I got people from all these other places, including Atlanta. So it's like, wow. And it takes a long time to get to get up there for some favor. As for Trippy Red, I've been called the Trippy Red clone for some time now. But I'll say up until 2021, with that one song called Super Villain, that's when everybody got on me with me sounding like Trippy Red. But <clears throat> Like, it's not that I'm trying to copy him. It's just the fact that my voice unironically matches his voice when I sing, when I play and act like I'm Trippie Red, but then it turns into like a regular singing voice. But it's funny because my original singing voice sounds like a Michael Jackson type of voice. So I kind of match the two together. So having that, Michael Jackson, um, Trippie Red, and then Sofago match together, I feel like. No one's, no one, I don't think I've ever seen anybody with that combination before. So I'm like excited to say, like, yo, am I the first to pioneer that sound? But like, I don't want to be that kind of person being like, yeah, I think uh, I could, I could really have all right to say that, but I'm not going to do that. I, I have to. I'm too modest for that. I'm like, I'm way too modest for that type of behavior. So to get that. I'm proud of what I got though, so I'll take it. But, wow. um, but yeah, those are the two current like people I look at, but more so other um other what's the word? Style. It's the honorable mentions. Oh okay. Keep, so other honorable mentions, I say look, Tekka, look Tekka, I just be listening to them a lot. Um Rich Amari, I just started like he was just there, but then I was like, "How come I wasn't listening to him before?" So I was like, "Okay, let me tap into him." And he was cold. His voice is deep. Like it's not like any other voice. Like I never heard nobody have like a deep voice and sing that beautifully before. I was like, "This man is actually gonna go." But then you have Wolfface Joey, which I dream to have a song with him. I don't know, like. His style with my style, I don't know. I feel like we could create something beautiful together because his voice, he has a voice of an angel. I don't care. I don't know. Like, I ain't trying to, like, what's the word? They say glaze. I ain't trying to be on that. But, like, this man could sing, and I need that on my songs. Like, I need that on my project something. Because he, he has no no force. He, he has some force that, that you got to take care of. Like, that's crazy. I will definitely work with him. Um, let me see. There was another cat I worked with. I want to work with Lil Player one day. I've been listening to him for some time too. He was going up since like 2019, but he you could say he fell off, but he he kind of got better with his style or got a, got more um experimental experimental is the word. But I don't know. I think it's been, it was like the label issues. This is not my business. I don't know. Some, 
he has a really cool style too. Um, only Bino, I worked with him. He was pretty cool. Just slight, slight work. Um, it was like a cool $80. It was like my first ever um, artist I actually paid for it, actually. $80. It was pretty decent. I wish my style was better, though. <laughs> it worked, though. It was just the mixing that kind of like messed it up. But I don't know. It was, it was still good. I don't know. I, I don't still listen to it to this day. But if I recorded it today rather than two years ago, okay. Pretty really different. Yeah. Like, only Bino, I was trying to get on his album, but I don't know if it was for that song or what's another song. Was for because his birthday was coming around. He was, he was about to turn. Either he was going to turn 19 or 20 or something like that. It was a crazy year for 2021. But yeah, I wonder what he's doing now. Like, I'm not friends with him. I wanted to be low key. But, <laughs> you know, because, like, you know, it's like once you get to talk to him, I'm like, man, like, and I, I kind of caught on to him before he blew up a little bit. But, like, I don't be, like, I don't know people's schmunkers and, like, oh, forget it. Oh, I'm like, no, that's not me. That's not my thing. But if I don't just be chasing over people, like, it's not worth it because they might not text me back. They might, like, this, that. But people be overthinking that a lot. It's like, if you, if you just like, oh, I'm going to be friends with you, it's like, it's like, and you keep texting and texting and texting and calling and everything else, and it's like, But you gotta think of the reverse psychology. Why would someone if you if you want someone that wanna be your friend and then you're that level of like, okay, I don't wanna do that. You know, you have that power to like actually do that, but I don't wanna do that because I'm a nice person, you know. I'll be friends with anybody with like best with music, like you low key sell me right there. Like I'm if you make music and I make music, let's do something together. Yeah. For real, like the amount of people that I know, like I, I don't diss nobody for that. Like, like what what did Tekka say? Now, now we're not doing that beast stuff for us to get money because that's what we're doing. We're trying to get money. Not me. Like, like, that's, that's crazy. But um, that's just something else. Another green flag. Did I say two green flags or three? Yeah, you said two. I don't know. I think you, I think you hit all three. I think you hit all three. I I think, I I did yeah, all, you hit all, all three. three. Because I said, I was saying something about the features where, like, they're overseas. Oh, because we, we did that question already, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. La right. Last one, though. Last one. What do we got coming uh, to wrap up 2023? What you can share. I know you just had a huge interview drop with Hip Hop Today. Uh, what else we got coming down um, to my 23? It's a lot of things I got to keep hush, but there's a lot of things I want to say a little bit because people have been waiting two years for this album to come out. It's called World Domination. World Domination is a very serious album that it's like, I wouldn't say, it's cliche to say out of this world because everybody say that, but I'm trying to make it as professional as I can. That's all I can say to that because it might not even come out. Like, I know it's not. No, it's not. But as far as singles goes or like um, any other projects, maybe it might be, I'm not sure. It might be a sequel to the last album that I did in April, which is Just the Same. It was a decent album. And I don't think what people realize is that all of those songs on the recent album that I dropped, which I don't know if you heard yet, um, Actually, you are new. You, you. Yeah, I listened, I listened to the last album. Yeah. With Brain Blast, oh, wow. just to face it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. See, those songs were recorded last year and the year before last. So 2021 to 2023. So technically, they're not new, but it was a couple of songs that I was supposed to drop a long time ago, which is new to the public. And, but uh, Brain Blast, that's like the 
that's basically a uh, old and new song because the music video is coming out shortly. I'm not sure when, but it's coming shortly. That's all I can say for that. But so it's been seven months today, so it's the 17th, right? Yeah. So come the 23rd, it would have been really? It would be seven months or eight months. Seven to eight months since I last recorded a song. Bro. Wow. Yeah, for real. And I had like I attempted to have a single to drop for with Solo Cello, but it that would wow, be good. It was good. Like it was it came up on like it was blowing up on Spotify, but then he told me personally to take it down because I didn't pay for the feature. So I hit up him and his manager like to get that done, but to this day, I ain't paid for it yet. So. Okay. Technically, I have no new music out. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Like, it's funny. Like, I really just, I wouldn't say I played everybody, but it's like, gotcha. <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't have any new music. I just got what I can, at least until something else drops. But it was, the, there's a reason for that, though. There's a reason because. In 2022, uh, like I said, December it was the last time I recorded because that's when my iPhone started work, stopped working because I was recording stuff on GarageBand on my phone. And that was the last like, like thing to like record on. So once that stopped like working, it just deleted itself. Like it literally just like, I tried to like update it and then Oof, it's gone. All my files are gone. Like everything is like all my other songs I done did, demos, beats that I didn't create it, gone. Like, I was stressing since then. Like, but soon, I really hope soon I'm gonna figure it out. New music, new music is gonna be on the way, but I try my best. But yeah, that's what I got so far. <laughs> awesome. That's like I'm more so focused on the marketing aspect of everything, so that's why I haven't been so up on Instagram like that. I mean, you wouldn't have known, but because you you came when the Hyper Gauge post came out, mm -hmm. so yeah, that's when that came. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, shout out, shout out Hyper Gauge. That was yeah, that was how I found you. That was <laughs> they got a pretty good page over there. I've found a few artists through their their uh, posts, so they got good stuff going on over there. And here we are, man. Yeah. Man, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the future holds, especially for next year. Yeah. Because I already know your, your podcast would do so well. Because you, like, it's crazy because a lot of these businesses out here, like, they really do well after some, like, a small bit of time to get more exposure from all these other places, so I really hope this podcast by itself do well because, like you know, I want to push it. Like, like my um, my management and stuff. I really hope they do their justice for this. This is a very, this is my first podcast to be featured on a podcast. Like what? You yeah. know how hype I was? Like you know how hype I was? Like if I saw a text like, "Yo, I'm not featured on a podcast interview." I'm like what? So it's going on Spotify. Yeah, I'll be on Spotify, YouTube, Apple Music, all of it. What? Wow. No, I, yo, I got to show everybody that. I can't wait. Ooh, man. It's, I can't wait. I, I'm just, that type of stuff is just ecstatic. Because it's like, you, 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 you just, you wonder why and wonder how everything is going to come to play. Everything is going to like, whoa. The amount of attention this might get. So I'm like, here we are. On to the next project. Yep. On to the next. Well, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and sitting down. And this is awesome to get to know you a little bit better and hear about what's coming next. Of course. And until next time, and there'll be um what I say. You know what? Actually, before I get off, I could say something to the youth. You know, yeah. since since I'm on this podcast now. Um, well, I'm 22. You can do this too. That's kind of cliche, but before I even 
<laughs> yeah. You can do this too, kids. That's weird to say, but hey, I love every single one of my supporters, my fans, my lovers. I sound like your rage, but you will understand why I say that too. But um, um, it takes a lot with this music stuff. It takes a lot of trials and tribulations. It takes a lot of heart and soul, but it's a journey that is worthwhile. And I definitely recommend this for someone who wants to be an artist like me, who wants to be um, influenced, wants to be the influencer, the trendsetter, you know, do that. Do that with all your might. You know, it, it's only you know, it's only right to do that. And I feel like at my age, and I know it took that long, I'm still young. And whoever is watching, who is like 14, 15, 16, 17, like you have a lot of time. Like you could like you could blow up at that time, but even still, don't rush your crap. What they say in Toy Story 2, they said don't rush your art. That's a true fact. <laughs> like that's a that's a bar right there. Don't yeah, don't rush your art. <laughs> like, you can't rush art. And then that's that old guy <laughs> that said that. I was like, if you remember that scene, it was they was cleaning uh Woody. Yeah. I, I took that to heart. Like, man, that <laughs> is the coolest thing he said. Don't rush art. And ever since then, I never rushed anything else. Like, and that's how I'm gonna close it. If you're gonna rush it, hey, hey, that's not my fault. Like, I wanna help the ones who are rushing anything. Or just just be real though. Stay yourself, be yourself, and stay out of trouble. Like, you can't have anybody go to jail and make you some love. Like, you know, it's kind of an insane power. But I'm rambling a little bit, but that's my message to the youth. Stay blessed. No, that's good. That's <laughs> important. Appreciate you sharing that. Of course. Yeah. Well, how can we have an outro for this? Like, like do you... Um, <laughs> You have like a certain phrase you say for the back cave? I don't I don't have any phrase. I used to have this sick music that would come in at like the beginning and the end, and I had like this tagline at the end. Um, but then I switched to video and now it just uploads the video. So I just edit up the video and don't put the audio in at the end. <laughs> Is this maybe, going on? maybe I should make a video like ending or something? I've thought about it, but we gotta piece it together still. <laughs> That'll be my homework. My homework. I'll I'll piece together uh an outro or intro video before this this one drops. And I was two more questions. Um, how long does it usually take to, to get an uh, interview out? An interview out? It kind of depends. So like right now, I got like six probably to put out, and I I break them up into like ten minute clips, so it like there's like parts to it. So probably like November ish time is when this one will come out this one yeah oh wow maybe october maybe october and then because i know there's a lot of editing between like all of the footage that we've covered so that's probably like an hour in total but like if you cut it into like like an actual video and i know it'll probably be on youtube man that's gonna be that's gonna be some yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm excited to put it out. Man, I can't wait to see the people's reaction. Like, yo, like, in the like, that's insane. Like, I really just did a podcast interview the same day I just got on a, a article. Like, that's insane. yeah, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. And if you want it, I can uh, I can send it to you too. Once it downloads and everything, I'll just send it to you, and you can. If you want to oh, use yeah. any content from it or anything, yeah, like for sure. Some people like that. Some people don't. But yeah. Let me know. Of course. And where where are you from again? You said? Uh Minnesota. I've kind of moved all over the place, but Minneapolis right now. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> my sister I'm actually gonna be in uh Minnesota in two days because my sister is going to college there. Oh nice. Where at? Um University of uh, Minnesota. Oh. So you have to check it out. Minneapolis is a uh, a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> I man, it's been 
I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I've been to Minnesota before. I went to Mall of America. I've been to, uh, what's the name? Valley Fair. It's a, I, I like it over there. But when I live there, I ain't gonna lie. I can't. Because it's way too hot, way too cold. I'm like, I'm trying to leave this yeah. um, climate change. It's crazy. I'm trying, I'm trying to live in the, the nice areas. You know, like, like I said, Atlanta. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the hot, hot, the hot land. <laughs> Sometimes it's hot, but it's yeah. better than Florida. Yeah. But yeah, um, it was very fun doing this. Yeah. I really hope to do this when it comes out. And, and for the footage too, you can you can send it over. I can send an email um, to uh, for you to send it over to um, either Dropbox or the. Uh, the drive or better yet we transfer i'm gonna let you know in the, in the in the long run but man i really appreciate this so like all this like is recorded yeah yeah like, all this is recorded i won't i won't keep this end part in the, in the interview but yeah yeah all this is recorded <laughs> I'll edit it out. Well, i mean you could keep everything with like the bloopers and stuff we could do that later or something yeah <laughs> yeah <Of course. laughs> i really had a fun time i do i am running late i gotta get home but uh it was fun, man. It's really fun. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Looking forward to see, you know, the new stuff coming and congrats on where you're at now. You've come a long way. So congratulations and looking forward to the future. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. It's a real honor, man. It's a real honor. Yeah. Have a blessed day and I'm sure I'll see you around soon. Well, I'll see you around soon too. Thank you. Right. Yeah.